Oof. Oof. Is he gonna? Is he? That son of a. He did. Uh, oh. Is he gonna? You. Don't. You. He did. All right. He's chosen death, guys. Boom. The elegy is the weapon of choice. The elegy 49 is gonna give him death. This is what he wanted, guys. So we're gonna give it to him. Oh, he's coming in. He is dead. That's what you get, son. That's what you get. Got another thirsty titan. Oof, no scoped in the bubble. What a way to go. Jump sniped. Ooh, easy. Nice little drag snipe on that guy with the elegy. Oop, suppress and no scope. New combination. A new way to shut them down. Question mark on that kill. I, I don't I still don't understand what happened there. But I do understand that I jump sniped these guys, which is kinda nice. Being a hard scope Harry. Pushing in. Let's go. You hear that? That's a Dawn Blade. Here we go. The long range shutdown inbound. I've calculated the angles. Boom. That's how you do it, boys. Oof. I shot him in the fucking head as well. <laughs> nice. Nice. Nice little double. Doing pretty good with the LG 49. That's right, guys. It's an energy sniper. It's an adaptive frame. But it's not beloved. And it has 10 more zoom. That's right. 10 more zoom than the beloved. But listen, we are still zooming in the lobby you know what i mean look at this it's crispy it's very crispy oof we're just popping heads right now i just killed the traveler hate to see it man you can see the role we've got real quick we have got moving target and snapshot and before we get into the rest of this video guys we do have a quick word from today's sponsor raid shadow legends i don't know about you guys but i grew up collecting pokemon and since then nothing has really scratched that itch for me until now with almost 500 champions to collect and upgrade, endless artifacts to find, and billions of different teams to try out, Raid Shadow Legends has years of content. It's the first mobile game that really recaptures the magic of the games that I grew up on. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and open up some shards here, and the cool thing with opening up shards to get champions is it's never really a good or a bad one per se. Even if you get a champion that's of no use to you, you can always sacrifice them in order to level up your good champions. And there we go. Those purple lights. Boom. Let's go, baby. We've got an epic attack champion in Delva. Look at these positive ratings almost across the board. Unanimously positive. It's a lot of reviews as well. Neurotic Toxin is one of the abilities. So it seems like she has a poison bow, actually. She shoots arrows into people, weakens them with several different debuffs. Very, very powerful looking champion. If you want to look at the aesthetics as well, the dark purple, the crossbow, Delva's looking kind of mean. And let's see with our last shard right here, we get another purple. We didn't get another purple, but hold. Dude, look at this one, Crimson Slayer. I just want to say, first of all, I'm keeping this one just because of the way it looks. She looks mean AF. That red armor, the spiky shield and the sword. Very, very nice. And I've got to say, I am very pleased with the pulls I got. From my ascendant shards raid just released the artifact forge where you can save times and craft artifacts directly as well as a whole new advanced quest system with amazing rewards and that's not all they also brought out some amazing new champions and they're developing the amazing looking doom tower as we speak which i am super excited about you can find me in game under the nickname dfp shake you can even join my clan so guys what are you waiting for go to the video description click on the special links and if you're a new player you get 50,000 silver 50 gems, 1 energy refill, 1 clan boss key, 5 mystery shards, a 1 day XP booster, and 1 free champion Hexweaver. A really powerful champion and she will definitely help you in the early stages of the game. All of this treasure will be waiting for you here. And remember guys, this treasure is only available for the next 30 days and for new players only. So don't miss out guys, raid Shadow Legends. Still here? Good. Me too. So let's get back into this elegy gameplay. So yeah, basically... I think obviously Beloved is the best sniper in the game, which is why you never get to see the Elegy in action, but you'd be missing out, man. Listen, it's like, you know, you don't always have to use Felwinter's Lie, right, as your shotgun. You might switch it up and use the CQC or, you know, a Mindbenders or something. Same thing with the sniper. You don't have to use Beloved. If you have a good roll on the Elegy sitting in your vault, take it out for a spin, see what it's all about. First of all, I love the aesthetic and the sound. It literally is a Barrett 50 cal, but in Destiny. If you guys don't know what the Barrett 50 cal is, it's a special sniper from uh, Call of Duty back in the day. I don't play COD anymore, so I don't know if it's still in the game. But in Call of Duty 4, the original COD, the Barrett 50 cal was an absolute beast. And uh, this thing just gives me those kind of vibes. The way the weapon looks, it's so big. It looks like it could, you know, take out tanks and ships. 
it's just a bit of a beast. Here we go, we popped another bubble. We've got a pumpkin running in. He wisely left. Golden gun pops it. He has no scoped melee out of his super. You hate to see it. The gun just feels very snappy. I think the combination of snapshot and moving target is really nice. Obviously, moving target gives you increased aim assist when you're moving the weapon or you're moving yourself rather, which is obviously really, really nice. You will be moving when you're ADSing to like adjust your angle and stuff like that. And I definitely feel like it helps quite a bit. And of course, snapshot obviously makes it very, very responsive when aiming down sights. Now, I believe you cannot get quick draw on this sniper, which is a shame, but snapshot moving target is a very interesting role, I feel. It's kind of like I'm running an Icarus grip on my mod slot, but now I have targeting adjuster for free with the uh, with the benefits that moving target provides. Also, I wanted to mention the hidden stats on the Elegy compared to the Beloved. So the Elegy has an aim assist of 60, which is pretty high and a zoom of 50, recall direction of 60. And if I were to compare that to the Beloved, the Beloved has 68 aim assist and 40 zoom. So 10 less zoom, eight more aim assist, recall direction of 77. So obviously the Beloved has more aim assist and less zoom. Therefore, it is better in basically every way. I am not claiming anything to the contrary. I'm just saying that this is a really nice sniper as well. You know, you don't always have to use the absolute best of the best. Especially when you're just playing quick play. Like if you're just playing quick play, does it really matter if you're using Beloved or Elegy or whatever, you know? In my last video, I rotated through like six of my snipers. And I noticed in the video, a couple of people commented asking particularly about this one. So I figured, well, you know what, we'll do a video on it and we'll focus a little bit more on it. And I think it deserves a little bit of focus, if, if just because of the way it looks and sounds. It just, it looks like an exotic, man. I don't know, there's something about it. I like running around with this gun. I, I like, you know, sniping people with this and then they realize they're not dead to beloved. Like, Elegy? What the hell is that? You know, I, I kind of like that. Kind of, you know, gets me going. <laughs> you see here, we're just hard scoping and shot that guy right in the face. One thing to know, obviously, if you do use Beloved a lot, um, this one does have, like I said, it has 10 more zoom. So what that means is you're probably more you know, vulnerable to being flinched off target, which I think is not necessarily a bad thing. I think the low zoom on Beloved is why people get shot through flinch so much and they complain about it, you know, infinitely. Like, it's so annoying to die to, uh, to snipers when you're shooting them with your primary. I think that's really just down to the uh, low zoom scope. You can say the same thing for Revoker. Revoke has a zoom of 35. And that is very, very low. Most um, high impact snipers probably have a zoom of 50 minimum. Obviously this thing has a zoom of 50, like I said. So, you know, it, you, if you use Beloved a lot, you might struggle at first, but I think learning their quirks and traits of another weapon can be enjoyable, especially when the content is dry like it is right now. You know, it might take a little bit of adjusting, but I think the look and sound of Elegy are a pretty good reason to give it a try. Also, snapshot moving targets a fantastic role as well. A really, really good role. Having uh, like targeting adjuster and you know, Icarus grip together is really, really nice, I feel. Obviously, we were pairing it with the last word because I think it's the best weapon to pair with snipers, especially if you're playing on a controller. Obviously, you can use other hand cannons as well. But for me, the last word and the Elegy, this combination hit really, really nice. And uh, I'm just a fan of this sniper. So guys, try it out for yourselves. Let me know what you think. As always, hit that like button to show some support to the channel. And uh, maybe subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video. Peace, peace, peace.